Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In previous video tutorial, we had learned how to implement a stack using array. But uh, drawback of that implementation is that uh, in uh, in array, as you know, so, uh, size is always uh, fixed, right? So if you implement a stack using array, then size size will be always fixed. You cannot go beyond of that, right? Whatever size you have given, that much item you can add. But if you want to implement a stack with not restricted size, then we can implement a stack using linked list, and that we are we are going to see in this video tutorial here. Yeah? So let's try try to understand first concept, then we will move for impl its implementation. So here uh, in linked list implementation of a stack, the nodes are maintained non-contiguously in the memory, un unlike uh, array. Each node contains a pointer to its immediate successor node in the stack right so here you can see uh, uh, initially uh, basically top will always point to the first uh, element in the uh, link list right and uh, and always insertion and deletion happens from the top itself that you have to keep in mind right and in you know in node uh, so a link list is represented by the different nodes and these nodes are uh, linearly connected right and here if you look into this node uh, top is pointing to the first node and uh, this cont every node contains the data as well as reference to the next node and that's what uh, link list has uh, represented in the singly link list right and last node always point to the null these are the key points always keep you in mind right when we talk about the stack then push operation is uh, basically implemented by inserting an element at the beginning of the list so when you implement a stack using a link list then always we have to push an item uh, on the top or beginning of the list right now pop operation is uh, implemented by deleting the node from the beginning or uh, top node right so always uh, insertion and uh, insertion and removal happens from the top or beginning of the list uh, there is one more operation is called peak peak always returns the data from the top item right so that's all concept about uh, how we can implement a, li a stack using link list let's move for its for its implementation yeah so here i have created a class a stack implementation using link list and here i'm going to create a few classes so here a stack classes i have created a stack class i have created here first of all i am going to provide uh, in this diagram you can see top right so here i am going to create a top right and a, a node uh, I given the name as top right and second thing i am going to uh, specify is a private int size this will depend what's the current size of the uh, stack but uh, here node uh, every node uh, basically contains two part data part as well as reference to the next node right and that's what we required one internal class basically we will create uh, of course you can create as external class but this class is going to use by the stack only so why not we create as internal class so i'm going to create a class private uh, class and i'll give the node right so this will represent every node right so basically you have to create various node and we have to connect with the references and that's the link list basically so here node will contain first of all int data so here you can take any kind of data but just say for a clear understanding uh, uh, i'm taking uh, here uh, is, uh, in, uh, data as integer right so integer we are going to uh, store in the into the stack right next i'm going to take private uh, node and this is the reference to the next node right always here you can see every node contains the reference to the next node reference is nothing but the address of the next node right so these two things now i'm going to create a constructor out of this so let's create a constructor yeah or initially this node point to the null right so that so here this is not needed simply we can do something like this right so initially node will point to the null if there is no data in the uh, uh, list right no data in the stack so here node class we have created now first basic operation we are going to create uh, in a stack is called push so i'm going to create public void push 
and this will take the item which we want to insert so nothing but the data data which we want to insert into the uh, stack right now here uh, with this stack we will create a new node right so I am going to create uh, basically uh, let's say new node is called tame node even you can give the new node as well new node right so this data we are passing uh, we take this data and create a new node now what I will do new node uh, new node is nothing but the tame node dot next equal to next I will do Sorry, uh, uh, sorry. So, <laughs> temp node dot next equal to we have to do top, right? And then uh, top will assign to the newly node created, right? So, top will contain the uh, new node, right? And that's it. But here, uh, for what we are doing basically, uh, we created a new node, right? Called as temp node with this data, what is data coming from the client, right? then what current node is push down so just i'm going to current dot uh, sorry uh, temp dot node uh, temp node dot next equal to top and finally newly inserted node uh, has to reference to the top so uh, top basically contains the newly created node now here what we have to do here size we have declared instance variable so of course this will as, as, uh, this will initialize with the zero so we have after inserting every node size has to increment by one and that i'm doing right so push is very simple right now let's go for the uh, pop so public uh, int pop all right so before doing the popping operation first of all you have to check if uh, here i'm going to write some uh, uh, write some uh, auxiliary method or helping method so let's say i will check public int size right so this guy will return whatever size of the variable right whatever the size of the variable that is going to return right so this is just a method now next method what i am going to check uh, public uh, boolean is empty just we would like to check whether stack is empty or not e m p t y yeah so how we can judge whether a stack is empty or not right so here if uh, size size equal to equal to zero that means the stack is empty right so so, so simple and now here uh, just we have to call and check whether a stack is empty or not if a stack is empty then we have to throw an exception right throw new empty stack exception right so there is no item how we can uh, pop an item from the stack you can't right now if there is item then what you have to do uh, you have to go the top dot data you have to take the uh, item from the basically uh, you have to take top item uh, from the stack and basically that item also you have to delete right and that's what pop does right so what you have to do for pop uh, you have to do top right top equal to top dot next right here you have to do top equal to top dot next right you have to move the pointer uh, to the next node right that's what so previous node will be garbage collected right and once you delete the item from the uh, uh, stack then size has to uh, decrease by one that's what i do finally i have to return the result that is nothing but this result pretty cool yeah so almost we have done we have implemented push pop and uh, of course we have to implement the peak as well right so let's implement the peak method so i would say public int peak 
yeah so before calling the peak method right before then you call the peak method first of all you have to check if th this stack is empty itself then you have to throw exception right else what you have to do uh, you have to return top item so i'll do top dot data that's it you don't need to remove simply you have to retrieve the top item but you are not going to in, uh, remove a uh, node in this case right simply you have to return the topmost item or top item yeah now what we can do we can implement one method which will basically display uh, entire stack so that's very easy to implement public uh, void and i would say you can give the method name anything i'm going to give display uh, display stack display stack let's give the method name and here i'm going to do node let's say current equals to let's assign to the top all right and here what you have to do you have to apply the while loop so let's apply the while loop and here we'll check current not equal to null right then you go inside and here you have to display data uh, current dot data let's put some space and instead of print then i'll give the print so that data will be displayed in a single line and what always once you print the current item then current item has to uh, move ahead right so current equal to i do current of next it is simple just we, we are tra traversing through the basically single link list right so once we print the current item then we'll move to the current of next and this way we can print entire stack item now this is my client program here i go and create a stack uh, so if you would have remember when we had created a stack using array right then while creating while creating time of the stack itself we had providing the, the stack size here you don't need to specify the stack size now as much as as much as element you want you can put into the stack so i'll say push let's say 10 then just i'm going to enter some item in the stack so 20 30 uh, 40 uh, 50 and 60 yeah so here uh, once i have created a stack right then before inserting any item let's check the what's the size of the stack so uh, here if i check the size then definitely this should print uh, zero right because as of now i haven't added any item so initially if you look into that size is getting printed right here at this point of time we hadn't added any element afterwards we have added few elements then if you check the size then this should print six it is printing six now let's check other stuff as well so here what are the other stuff we have so if i check is empty this is going to be uh, this is going to be false right now if i check then this guy is going to search false right now i am going to call peak so peak is going to return uh, 60 right that's the item which was added uh, lastly right so if i call peak then this is going to return us 60 right and that's the item which was added lastly which has to be first in the stack now similarly if you call let's say stock a stack dot pop pop right then this is going to uh, give us 60 and simultaneously it will remove and after that if you call the size then size would be 5 right so after removal of a, one element so if is here initially you can see size is printing as a 0 then here size is printing as 6 is empty returning false because uh, a stack is not empty then peak item 60 is gonna return then when we, we call pop then 60 is returned and at a time it is deleted as well because pop always returns to the top top item and that will delete that item as well from the stack 
and afterwards if you check the size then this is showing 5 initially size was 6 one item has been popped so size has decremented by one so guys this is working perfectly fine right so this is the uh, stack implementation using single linked list if you have any doubt then let me know uh, this is very simple implementation i uh, uh, i'm thinking it shouldn't be any problem if still you have any problem then please let me know as far as uh, code concern i will post this code on my blog kkjavatatos.com and a link you can get from the video description part itself guys big thank you for watching this video and see you again in the next video tutorial